Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the start of 2028-2029. So we are playing the Skybat Championship for the second time. We finished 20th last season. And um, in the last episode I actually took you through where the real life staff and players from Hereford have ended up to uh, ended up. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Quite interesting to see where the simulation goes to. But today we're gonna take a look at the new squad for the season 2028-2029, as I said, and any other changes that we've made. So just a quick recap on uh, some of the things that I mentioned. Uh, in the, I think two episodes ago, I talked about um, some of the things I have requested for the board. So, essentially, you've got a bunch of money over the off season, and one of those um, things that we asked for were new facilities for training and youth. Um, so those are going to be completed quite soon. So if you uh, look now at the training facilities where they're both average, so they're going to be above average, I guess, is the next level up. The the youth is already playing in League 2, so they got promoted. I don't know why, but they got promoted straight away, even though the facilities aren't finished. Uh, and they've been doing okay. And the uh, under 21s has not been doing too badly either. Not as bad as previous years, which is good. Um... We're not making money month on month, so that's something to watch out for, but I'm not too concerned because I know in the off-season we always get a big lump, so so that's okay. Um, what else to mention? Club info. Oh yeah, we're now cha we change affiliates as well. We're now t uh, Tottenham's junior affiliate, um, so there are the... Uh, we, have a, we haven't actually received any players from them, to be fair, but we we can if we want to make some proposals and we have our first affiliate club so Hyde who oh, let me see if you can get some more info on Hyde general where's the stadium facilities it's just Hyde I guess yeah I don't really I'm not entirely sure where Hyde is but I'll look it up some of the time um, yeah, so there are the junior affiliates. I'm not sending any players on loan to them. It's more so we have we expand our um, options. If we ever want to send clubs on loan to them, we can. If there's any like young prospects from from their club that we could um, we could get into our club, then we can we have kind of preferential treatment, I guess. And uh, also. And they get to have a friendly with us, which is good in the off season. Get an extra friendly in, and so on. Um, right, so let's go to what everyone's come here to see. Uh, we're gonna go to the squad and look at our new intake of players. Um, let me just rearrange my windows here and put this one. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the list on the left hand side now. We have a goalkeeper issue because Renato Bellucci wants to leave. I didn't allow him to leave, but uh, he wants to leave. So this is something we're going to have to fix in the future at some point. It's just kind of, it's a bit of a shame he wants to leave because he's a very good goalkeeper. And I would have loved to have kept him, like, essentially forever. Uh, maybe not forever, forever, but uh, he can definitely play... Uh, for, for a long time for us still in the club. But he wants to leave. Uh, Tyler Dickinson has been uh, our most consistent goalkeeper. Um, he's a bit more mature as well. But anyway, we still have these two. I think Dick, uh, Dickinson's been with us the entire time. Yeah. He's the only player left, as far as I'm aware, that has been with us since the Van Rama North. So from the beginning. Uh, the very first player that I signed, I think, as well. He's still with us, and um, so far not too bad. It obviously starting to peak because this is a high level for him. Now in the right side of the fence, still no changes. Ethan Boyle 
is still one of our choices. The other choice is Cole. Both of them Irish players. Look at the physicals. Not too bad for this level. Left side of the fence we have Jensen Jones still. If I could find him. Jensen Jones. So he's still one of our options for the left. And then we have a new Loney, uh, Nugent. Steve Curley uh, is with us from Shamrock on loan. Left side, that's it. Uh, and then defense, we have quite a quite a few new new players. So uh, in the wide position, we have Murray Campbell, uh, who's on loan from uh, ba -ba Burnley. So Bernie Campbell is one of the players playing in the wide centre-back position. The other player is Ross Davis that came on free transfer and new gen from Walsall. Oh, it wasn't free. 230k. That's definitely not free. Um, yeah, so he came from Walsall. And then the defender position, the central defender position, is the only one that remained unchanged. Max Dietze, or Dietz. Uh, still with us, and the other player is Owen Gordon, also still with us. And then in the non onto center back, which is the one in the middle, uh, we have again two new players Richard Rech, uh, sorry, Christian Rech, German player, uh, on loan from Wolfsburg. And then the other loanee is. Uh, Mehdi Eraholi, Moroccan player, Nugent, from Antwerp. Um, also, talking about Nugents, if you want to support the channel um, and you like to, you know, do a little bit to do that, if you head over to the Patreon page, which has got several links in the description and etc. If you head over to the uh, Patreon page, you can name a Nugent. So if you leave, if you um, subscribe on there, um, one of the options is to um, have your name as a new gym player, whether it's um, a junior or a senior depends on the membership that you um, subscribe to. So yeah, if you want to support the channel and that way you can name a new gym and then we'll follow the history of that new gym throughout the episodes. Now the defense midfield doesn't have any changes. Actually, no, he does have a change. Alistair Clifford is still with us. And he's probably going to be with us for a while. And then there is one change. Dominic Ball, probably as the last season he ever plays. He's come to retire with us. From Sully Hull Moores. Uh, he was at Ipswich before. In real life, I guess. So Dom uh, Dominic Ball, a new player. In the midfield, we still have Ismail with us, one of our best players, um, but we have one new player again to retire with us, Alex Fernandez, he is a Spanish player that played for Madrid to start with as a youngster I suppose, he played in the second team, then Espanol with a few loans and then Cadiz pretty much. Uh, the majority of his career and then in the game he went to get taffy as well that's what we got him on a free transfer from in the right side of attack we have still Nathan Lamy that joined us from Blackburn and we have at the moment Ben Hamies but Hamies Nugent that came from Stoke he's probably the best catcher we've had for a while, I mean, he's not our player, but if he was, look at the money that he's worth. 20 million. That's more than the, wor the club is worth as a whole. Um, for a while, we had a different player, but when we found Ben, I switched to the... I switched to loan. So he had for a while Cameron, uh, um, Cameron Edwards, a new gen from Cardiff. And he didn't play too bad, actually. Two, two assist, two games with one assist. So it was okay. It wasn't completely uneventful. Um, yeah, but we gave him back because we found Ben. And then 
left side of attack and no changes well actually no sorry one change Riley Owen still with us from Brenton they came last year um, and then another player that is an investment for the future really uh, Mattia Almaviva Italian player is a real-life player yeah he used to play he plays at Roma uh, and he came from Spa. I don't know what Spa stands for. It's not obviously the real name of the club. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I don't think Spa is the real name of the club in real life. It might be. It might be. I know they don't have the full license for Italian players. They have some, but not others. Um, and then finally, strikers. We have two new players. Anthony Hodge is improving quite well, actually, as well. Look at that. Um, on loan from Coventry, and then we went and got veteran striker. Where is he? Can't see him now. Oh, there he is, Riss Healy. Uh, he came to retire with us, I guess, and he's had a full career, starting for real in Cardiff, uh, and then going off to uh, to lose. Watford, but that was in the game, I guess, and then Lorient in France again. So he's been in and out of France a couple of times, and he's coming to retire with us. For a while, I put Max Guthrie back in the senior squad, but I thought, you know what? Um, let's have let's have him back in the under under twenty ones. He's not going to develop much more than this, so I guess he'll just stay there until. Uh, our youth team surpass him. Uh, so that's it. So we have six loans and we have two uh, elite slots taken up. And um, yeah, so that's our new squad for the season. We've played a bit already. Uh, we played about seven matches of, this, of the league. Uh, we've already been eliminated from the Carabao Cup. We lost on penalties against Coventry. And for the league, we won one match, drew four matches, lost two matches. So we are in 16th. The news for this season is that Luton, that started the season really well actually, if you look at the schedule, started the season with one, two, three straight wins. Three straight wins and then two more after that and went to the third round of the Carabao Cup. They got deducted points, 12 points of the deduction because they breached financial guidelines. So they had to sell a bunch of their players as well. So they had to sell, yeah, 37.5 million worth mass exodus. Um, they, they did bring some in as well, but at a very, very small cost. And I guess they had to promote a lot of their youth as well to the senior squad. So it's good for youth, for the youth, I guess. And they've not been doing too badly. I mean, yes. So I think this is when they got the points deduction after Sheffield Wednesday. Because they got 12 points deducted. One, two, three, four, yeah. And then they still play the Carabao Cup with a lot of youth, I guess. Or at least that's when it start, they started to sell players. Coventry, and now they're starting to decline. And we're playing them next, so that's our next match against Luton Town. Let's see how we do. Um, as far as the stadium, uh, we had it extended last season. We moved in after the winter break. And since then, we've been selling it out pretty much all the time. The only time we haven't sold out was for the small cup games. But other than that, we've always sold out the stadium. Which is good, but still, we're not making enough money from gate receipts to offset the other expenses that we have. But actually, it's okay, because we make a lot of money in the off-season. We make enough. So, for example, this year we made enough to then use that money to improve our training and youth facilities without having to rely on a, on a new loan. 
So we had in loads of money to do that. And we still have money for transfers and so on. So I'm confident that in the off season we we make enough to make make up for the fact that we don't make money month on month during the season. We've, we make roughly three and a half million from uh, season tickets and then we make another four million or so just from playing in the league uh, in, solid, in, in the solidarity payment um, and then we make a quarter of a million every month from from TV TV rights um, I can't remember exactly how much we get from sponsorship but it's like I don't think it's even a million a whole million it, it might change obviously that's the one thing that changes quite a lot depending on the state of things so yeah so we make a lot of money in the off season so I'm not too worried about not uh, you know about losing money every month in the in the season We're still receiving some money from transfers. We have like regular payments um, that we're still receiving money from. So, uh, Sunny Alja Fredri is one of these, one of those. And we've got some clauses as well. Like there's, we had a poached player, so eventually we'll be able to catch in, cash in on those. Um, how many subs do I have left? Okay, so I need to do with him, and then I'm gonna take Steve out because he's on a yellow card, and he's not doing great for it. So there we go. screen so I think this year we still might not get to the playoffs we, we might but we might not I think it's more likely that we don't and um, we prob we're probably not gonna end as far down as last year so last year we finished in 20th I think this year we could finish a bit higher than that. Obviously, this helped that loot. It helps almost everyone in the league that Luton Town lost their points because um, they were quite high up on the table at that point. So it kind of bumped everyone else up. But I think they have quite a, a good youth system, so they're able to rely on the youth squad quite a lot. Oh, Luton here with a goal with eight minutes to go. Hell, on extra time. It was literally like seconds before extra time. Four seconds before extra time. I doubt we'll be able to respond in this time. Might even suffer another here. <coughs> oh, apologies. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I'll come back um, in the winter break. We might have a different goalkeeper at that point. We'll see how Renato Bellucci reacts. I think there's a promise that I won't... He agreed that I won't sell him for under a million. And so far, all the offers we've had have been below a million. So maybe he might stay. And I might be able to play him 
later on in the season and that might make him feel a bit better. Anyway, it's a loss here against Luton, but there's a long season ahead and I'll catch up with you in the winter break and we'll see how we're doing then. Thanks so much for watching until the end and supporting the channel. Appreciate it. Um, take care. See you next one. Bye.